This is my first full day back to work after breaking my arm. We're going to do some quality control in the loading dock. We're going to take a look at the plants. We are going to install a glass door on our first giant reptile enclosure. We're going to put cross braces on our 1,100 gallon tank. Then we are going to meet our new friend Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife. We are going to hold otters, feed camels, see King Cobra, and we are going to plant giant lilies, including the giant Amazon lily in his ponds. Let's take a look. This is what's going out today. And I just kind of come here, I eyeball it, make sure everything looks pretty good. Because, you know, we got to take care of the customers. We take care of the customers and the customers take care of us. I'm so excited, everyone. I got my shower door in. So this is for one of the reptile cages. I got this for 350 bucks, but now I got to figure out how to mount it. It's 60 inches by 70 inches. We just got to make sure that animals can't escape from it or we, we get the appropriate animal for this cage. We're going to install this today. We had a little problem since Haley did this. You can see here on the ground, things didn't stay in place. I don't know if it's a raccoon or it's the thunderstorms or they're just falling or what. But I mean thunderstorms, I mean the wind. But we got to secure this here, Caesar, so that it doesn't fall. So if you take this pot, I'm okay. We just got to cut this pot. If you cut this pot like this, so I can water. On the top. On the top. Then you can go ahead and screw the pot into the back. Okay. I'm okay if you do so that. That one does maybe not like it like that. For that, I make a hole in the top. Maybe I'm okay. Back. You make a hole in the top. I'm good. Is this strong? Is this in here strong? That looks good. Yep, 60. Okay. So we yeah. So we got to frame this in. Next, next time you paint? We'll paint. All right. Good. Perfect. No okay. problem. Okay. This turned this turned out fantastic. Look at that. If this, the only thing we need on this, Jonathan, is you see here, you see like there's a big gap here, where like, a, not a big gap, but there's a gap here where an animal can get through. Correct. So if we could do this, if we could get some sort of something to go right here to, to help prevent an animal from, from getting through. Um, so let's see, I need to get something here like a bead of something here. I don't know if you guys have any idea. Well, all I have to do here is put some top braces on this and um, I'm going to try to fill it. And as you probably know, the most critical part of the aquarium is the top brace. So I got two by sixes. I'm going to put two by sixes, one in the middle, one on the left, one in the middle, one on the right, one on the left. And I think I'm going to have to get some big wood, big wood screws and a pilot hole and maybe some silicone and get it to adhere really, really good because we can't have this thing exploding. It could hurt someone or, or worse, but hopefully we'll have fish in here soon. Go to Home Depot and buy a four inch wood screw. You know, not, not a deck screw, maybe a really, really big screw. Then maybe get a little drill bit for a pilot hole. We do a pilot hole here, a pilot hole here, and put two big screws in here. This is a four inch, five sixteenths stainless steel screw. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put them in here. We got, we got this one, this one, this one. And then I'm gonna put on the end here, I got these two by tens on the end. So we'll do this and hopefully we'll be able to fill it up and get this to work. I love my property and I love my gardens, especially after it rains. Everything looks so green and lush and exotic. Unfortunately, it rained and it rained and it rained. Five inches total. It created havoc in the back of my nursery and my swamp walk. Filling my cycad bog to the top and my boardwalk went underwater. 
with some minor damage. This all happened the day before I broke my arm. We'll have a big rain here in Florida, maybe three, four, five inches of rain. It only happens a couple times a year. And we had one of those events the other day. We had four or five inches of rain and you can see how high the water came. See right there, Gage, the water came up over top the dock here. You see this, our little swamp walk, the water came on top. This whole swamp walk was underwater. So Julio, I'm fine with this. I'm okay. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, but there's no. Okay. This is a big problem. Okay. El problema aquí es bastante fuerte porque el el agua removió la tierra y la tierra está demasiado floja. Julio said he says the big problem in here. He said a recommendation for you and I put the poles, the two by four for the different kind, the four by four. the five, four by four and maybe more more big one, and maybe it's more easy to pull it up for the, the top. Okay, uh, we wait till October? We wait till October? This is in October? Sí. Yeah. So I think this is a, Julio, for me, this good. This good, this good, this is good. I need maybe this down, this is not good. This has to come down. But, mm -hmm. Pero hoy, en estos días, hoy, hoy se lo hago. Okay, okay, so, okay. Yeah. He, he say, he's, watch out, he say, all this, this problem in here, I want to do it today for down. And maybe can you want in October, I can fix it very nice. It was obvious guys, this was all underwater. You can, once again, you can see, you can see the duckweed here. The duckweed comes, how, what, how far did that duckweed come? The duckweed came all the way to right here. So this whole boardwalk was two or three inches underwater. And like I said, we got four or five inches of rain and I, I, I wasn't even sure I would build this. I wasn't even sure I would build this boardwalk. So I'm very happy I did. I will see how it goes. You know, maybe we can tweak it and it'll be great. Um, kind of rare that we got five inches of rain, but it does happen. We could have our hurricane and get more than five inches of rain. I'm visiting a new friend today. I'm going to visit my friend Chandler, Chandler's Wildlife and he has some crocodile exhibits and we're gonna try to beautify those today. Look at the size of these lilies here. Man, you know what these lilies were? These lilies were the ones that I grew for aquascapes and no, I, I think Cam Cannon and they ran out of juice and they got really, really small, almost dead. See, so what happened to the Amazons? That was a lot of the seas. What happened, man? I go to I go to Chicago and they look great. How often you come and look at this? No, this coming coming back. I don't know for this the different kinds of animals. I don't know what it is. You didn't spray these with Roundup, did you? No. I don't do it use a Roundup. Okay, this is what we need to do. Let's take these, pot them into bigger pots with the fertilizer, put them in this other pond. And these things are funny. If they run out of fertilizer, they can just drop dead. And look at the size of these flowers. These flowers are maybe eight inches across. These pads are only one third size. These pads are maybe 18 inches across. These pads that I've seen get four feet across. In the Amazon, they get six feet across. Um, but look at these things. These things are magnificent. We're gonna bring one of these down to the channels. Oh, did you cut this or no cut? Oh, don't say I don't know. No, you didn't cut it, okay. These leaves are good leaves. If you gotta cut a leaf, cut an old leaf. So here, if you gotta cut a leaf, cut this leaf here. Okay, go ahead, cut this leaf. Okay, can you pull this out?
The first thing you notice when you drive onto Chandler's property is he has a spring-fed pond that has excellent visibility and it is above 72 degrees year-round so he can keep tropical catfish. Man close to my own heart. Kyle, what are you helping? Get out of there. Kyle. He likes me. You like him? Come on. Oh! <laughs> Kyle! This is bad. I love you. Why are you being so mean? Yeah, get Caesar holding him. Caesar, hold my child. Oh! <laughs> Man, I don't think he likes Caesar. Hey, yeah. no, maybe he's that's his back, his, his lower back. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not usually like this. What about him? Want... Oh, he doesn't like them. What the hell? Kaido! Sorry. I don't know why he's being like that. Here, play with him. Come on. Nice. Get back over here, Kaido. This is bad. He just needs to get to know you. Oh, he's playing with the rock. This it's okay. Order. You can try to pet him. He'll play bite you like a puppy. He, when he gets really mad at you, he'll take a finger off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at my hand. I saw in one of your videos a story about did a camel decapitate somebody or something? I mean, on the rare occasion, they can grab people on the head and toss them. And unfortunately, there was a person in California who worked with camels their whole lives. And this gentleman got his head completely ripped off by an adult male camel during the rut. So they're really placid animals for the most part, but if it's a male, he's sexually mature, and it's that time of year where he's looking for the ladies, then they can become very aggressive, like most <laughs> of stock. <laughs> Put the carrot in your mouth and feed him. Just keep yes, it right there yes, and feed him. Yes, he'll, he'll take it right out. There you go. There you go. There, you give him a kiss. So these are one hump dromedary camels from the Middle East. So they come from the deserts. They're the ones you typically see in the movies and you see around the pyramids in Egypt. And then there's the two hump camel, which is called the Bactrian camel. And they come from like a higher altitude and where it's colder and it snows. So they have long, luscious fur. So uh, they just have the one hump. I couldn't afford the second hump. It's more expensive. But they actually store water or they store fat in their hump. And there's a myth that they store water in their hump because they're in the desert for so long. But they can actually drink up to 40 gallons in one sitting. So they just slurp up, fill up what they need, and then they go on their travels in the deserts. I love them. They're like big dogs. <laughs> you can kiss them. Right? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay, don't give me a kiss. And what's crazy is they don't have teeth on the top jaw. So if you look at the camel's face, you know, let me see your... No, you already know what I'm going to do. Let me show your face. If you look, there's no teeth on the top jaw. So it's a plate for grinding down cactus pads with thorns or any kind of plant matter. And they do grow on, fangs. On, they actually on. get these crazy like canines they get later on and that can be used for battling with other males or biting the crap out of somebody. Here you go, Tom. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Come on, smooch him. A little bit of French. I got the reload, part. reload, reload. Timmy wants okay. some, come on. There you go. <laughs> He's like, just take it. <laughs> One more. My sweet babies. He loves his carrots, especially Timmy. So this is Justina. She's an Indonesian King Cobra. Oh and I'd like to clean her enclosure a little bit if I can get her distracted and move her over. Look at that. That bad, man. There we go. Oh, man. Wow. It's bad. Ooh. Oh, Caesar, those snakes are so beautiful. <laughs> no, nah, that's bad. I don't like. Now, what if that snake got loose in the greenhouse? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, world's biggest venomous snake. And she's only about 12 feet long, but they can get upwards to 18 feet. And they eat other cobras, they eat pythons, they'll eat a monitor lizard, like a water monitor. They're reptile specialists. And they have enough venom in one bite to kill a bull elephant, so definitely don't want to take too much Ooh. risk with her. Oh my god. What if I get those snakes for Holt Nurseries? Maybe nobody working here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you buy the snakes, 
Maybe you divorced. Maybe they were a man. I gotta redecorate her cage soon. I used to have bamboo in here and made it pretty, but I need to get better lighting and better soil in here before I plant it again. Cause I spent like over a thousand dollars on bamboo for this exhibit and it all died when I was healing from the cover bite. If you get the lighting and the soil, I'll donate the bamboo. That'd be great, thank you. Yeah, she's a bad mamajama. You know what, maybe I could even donate the soil too. Right, how much soil would it take? Four. Put soil in here. Relax, relax. Everything here? Yeah. But I need to clean that one? Well, you need to go in there with the snake. Who is doing put the soil with? You. No, I not do it. No, I not do it. Look at this. See, look at the face. I'll watch, Sneezer. I'll watch. I'll tell you, I'll tell you when you gotta watch out. So they focus on movement. You see, when I move my leg, she focuses on it. It's not like a rattlesnake that has heat seeking pits. They don't see a thermal image. They just see the movement with their eyes. So if I move, she focuses on the movement. But we're gonna leave her alone. I don't wanna stress her out. I love this snake. I don't want her to be upset. What in the feed me Seymour is that? <laughs> that is wild. Absolutely insane. This looks like oh. something out of Super Mario. Giant spiky Amazon really. And the flowers smell like pineapple. That's crazy. What do the flowers look like? Big white flowers. Big white flowers size of softballs or volleyball. You get a big enough lily the size of volleyballs. I have to take my shirt off. Don't make a big thing about this in the comments now. <laughs> oh, crap. I can't believe it. No, but now you're good though. Now it's light, right? All right, so this is kind of level. I just want to make sure. Okay. Ooh, there's a big spider on here. I hope it's not a giant Amazon uh, wandering spider that came with the South America border. These are all bred in America, right? Yes. All right, so that shouldn't be a giant wandering spider. That's a seedling. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, so I'm so scared of this plant. It's so primeval. I don't want to get popped by it. Do I need to rearrange these lilies in any way? It's probably good for tonight. You think this is good? How yes. Nice? I might not come back in here and play with it again. Right about here? Right there, yep. <laughs> I hope I don't find those snapping turtles that are in here. And these guys will just keep growing, right? They'll go up to the surface. Yes, yes. Wow, that's so beautiful. I like how these don't have spikes. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'll, I would, I'd love for that to be everywhere. But, but those are just scary to touch. Do you think it should be further out? No, that's good. That's good. It will, it'll stay. I'm trying it. <sighs> What's that? I guess it's got to be deeper. It's not a good spot right there. What? <laughs> oh, do you have the lily or do you? I have. I have it. It's just heavy. <laughs> What is that? What is that touching me right now? What is that? What swamp creature just grabbed me? Hey, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for everything. Oh, no problem. Like, I can't believe that you donate all these plants. And as soon as I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get you some cool reptiles for your facility. I'd love that. I'd yeah. love that. But I, there's plenty. I, I'm in the plant business. I, yeah. have, I have connections, and a lot of the stuff I grow from one dollar babies. That's crazy. Yeah, so. Absolutely crazy. I I think that your place is gonna blow up 
really nicely, especially if you add animals to your botanical garden. So oh, well, thank you. I was making it. my place like a botanical garden, so it's perfect. Okay, great. Hey, stay rooted. That should be your catchphrase. Stay rooted and follow your dreams. <laughs> we will see you next week, and don't forget to like and subscribe.